What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today's upload is a old video. I am going through some of my older stuff that I was, I had a lot going on before vacation. I didn't get to upload everything or take you guys along for the ride. So before we get into all this guys, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. And today's video is going into high pressure oil leaks and a big mistake I made as a lot of you know that talk to me in the comments regularly, I, I often say I'm, I'm not a mechanic. Uh, I just, I wrench on this truck. It's a pretty easy truck to wrench on, but uh, when you have long days in the sun, like when I did my all my injectors, I spent all day in the sun wrenching and it kicked my butt. And I made a stupid, stupid mistake, which we're gonna get into right now. Well, YouTube, here we are again. And as it turns out, this hose here was leaking. So the part that comes off the standpipe, uh, again, the standpipes are new from the head gasket job done on this truck. Uh, I must have, you know, I was getting tired. I was working in the sun all day that day. I was putting this back together. And what it seems to have happened is when I pushed that in, I must not have, it must not have clicked all the way. And as soon as I went to build ICP pressure or, or oil pressure, it blew it completely off so I checked it out it looked good we popped it back on there uh, so basically oil would have just been dumping into this valve cover essentially is what would have happened because there it wouldn't have been able to build pressure because there's this massive leak over here so we're gonna get this truck back together I'm gonna quick go over the air test that I have done here and uh, again, some of this stuff is more specific because of this intake here, guys. It does provide a unique challenge, and uh, I'm gonna get into some of that in that video, so. Anyway, YouTube, so the truck should be good to go. We're gonna still drop this high pressure oil pump in. We're gonna go over and get the uh, valve cover all back on over here, get the truck started, and you guys look for it. I'm gonna be editing videos a lot. Uh, we made quite a few here, so look for some videos coming. Uh, of the truck coming up, injector video, high pressure oil pump, air test leak. Uh, so we got a whole bunch of stuff coming guys. Now also on top of that mistake that I made, I later found another one because I did go ahead and replace the high pressure oil pump. Uh, I just wanted to make sure everything was good to go on vacation. The last thing I needed was to have a breakdown 500 miles away from home. Our trip to South Carolina is about 600 miles. So many of you know I picked the CNC fabrication stage one high pressure oil pump love it it's running great we're going to do an update video on that in the near future along with update videos on the warren diesel injection injectors anyway when i took the high pressure oil pump cover off i also found that when i did my ipr valve i had actually messed up the o-ring that sits on top of it you guys will see that in video the high pressure oil pump system on the early trucks is very different from the later model trucks so we'll get into that. That'll be the following video I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna kind of combine that with probably an air test video. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do. It's a lot of footage to go through. So we'll see what happens. But why there was no startup video after I did injectors was because I had a leak. I didn't connect that hose properly as you guys probably saw. It's not the best shot I had of it, but that's what happened. On the early style trucks, there's a log there and it presses in. It's a quick disconnect and uh, I goofed it up that that's all there is to it is I goofed it up and caused it so be cautious guys double check that connection here's the thing I thought I did double check it so I I must have really been much more tired than I anticipated for that so dumb mistake I made we got it fixed it makes showing what a big air <laughs> what a big leak in your high pressure oil system looks like though on videos you guys can see the oil vapors coming out when I put air to the system so lesson learned be careful when taking off that cover on top of your high pressure oil system lube up that o-ring and make sure you're setting it flat down as you do you don't want to do it at any angle because you do risk damaging that o-ring guys lesson learned here anyway if you guys enjoyed this upload please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up drop a comment down below and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button let me know what you guys want to see in the next video and i'll see you in the next upload